take some of the fabrics and we'll just wet them out with epoxy, get a feel for the different fabric types, the input between Kevlar, glass, and carbon, and we'll try to get a feel for how the different weave styles affect how well they wet out with epoxy. And uh, what we have is carbon uni, we've got some Kevlar woven and some glass um, woven, and some 1708 knitted glass, and some ounce and a half chop strand mat. So we'll do those, and then we'll just, we'll wet out, and those, this uh, example here is a stack of four plies of each of those products, and then we're gonna put a peel ply, which is the blue material, on top of those, just squeegee out the fabric and put the peel ply on top, and try to consolidate, just by hand, no vacuum pressure, but just by hand, consolidate the laminate, get all the air out, and make a nice, um, solid laminate of these, these fabrics. Part of the key to that is just to get a good a wet kind of edge with the brush. You have the brush soap there. Really what you try to do with the brush, push the resin into the bundles. So you get resin coming up and you get resin going down. So I think the thing, <laughs> the thing to notice here is that the cloth really wets up fast with epoxy. It just, cloth and epoxy are just made for each other. And, um, you know, you can see that this epoxy is cold, it's thick, uh, which is really not the best situation, but even so, it just wets out beautifully. You can also see that the cloth is really hard to keep in line. It's, it's a cloth, so it, it doesn't, um, you know, it's not woven, it's not stitched, it's not mechanically attached together, it's just um, together by the weave itself. And then when we're done with that last layer, we're just going to put a layer of the, of the uh, nylon peel ply. That's the blue material. Just for That's just going to give us a nice, smooth, smooth um, surface on the top. And what's in there? The, what's, is it just, just the nylon itself? Won't, uh, nylon, won't, uh, the nylon combined with the blue material, which is a silicone additive, or vinyl luster. And so when we're done, we'll be able to peel that off and we'll have a nice, uh, kind of sm slightly abraded, smooth surface on the top. And it, whatever finish you have on the top of the peel ply, you will get to the top of the laminate. So it does, if you're concerned about that, it does uh, benefit you to take some time just to squeegee out those um, little wrinkles. Well, well, some of the ME blush go away. Yes. yes. Yeah. There's a difference between wetting out glass and wetting out air and mm -hmm. It's it's, it's just, hard. it's a lot it's more difficult to feel comfortable doing a good job, and, you know, um, and that won't mechanically stand up when you get done, you can do with a peel Yeah, it's, it's a disaster. <laughs> but you can peel that back, and you can see that the like combination of having the, the substrate, the table, pre-wet, yeah. yep. and ensuring that you've got a lot of resin there, you know, that, that's how I feel comfortable, knowing that you've got Kevlar properly wet out. Obviously, there's more resin than you need, but I'd rather be on the safe side than Kevlar. This is actually an infusion resin that we have in the shop. It's very, very thin, as you can see, mm -hmm. but it's a vinyl ester blend, uh, infusion resin. It's a very nice resin. Now, what we could do maybe at the same time is just take the epoxy and do this exact same thing I'm doing with the mat. Sure. Just wet that out and then do it side by side. Sure. Do you see how the mat just really disappears with styrene-based? Mm -hmm resins. I mean, it's just really, really clear. The binder that's holding the mat together is designed to dissolve in styrene. And the problem is, or the good news is, that epoxy has no styrene in it. So we put that on here, we're doing these side by side, and you'll really see how one just wets right out, and the other one doesn't. See, it looks like it's dry, but it's not. There's plenty of resin. It's just not breaking down the, just not breaking down the binder. Anyway, that's pretty much it, I think.